Hello everyone, I'm Zuzu and today we're going to make the Silent Hill Nurse Mask. This is the last episode of the mini series about how to make a Silent Hill Nurse cosplay. If you want to know how to make the dress, how to dye the dress and the hat, then don't forget to look up the links that are in the description box down below. And if you're ready, then let's go and do it! First, cut bandages in different lengths and pour liquid latex in a bowl. You also need a hairdryer and plastic foil. Wrap your head with the foil. Please be careful when doing this and make sure to make holes for breathing around your nose. I also made holes around my eyes for better sight. If you start to feel unwell, please stop. I wrapped around three layers around my head. Also, don't forget to wear old clothes because liquid latex is hard to remove from your clothes. Drop your bandage piece in the latex and put it around your face. It can dry pretty quickly, so try to work fast. Don't cover your whole head, because we still need to get the mask off our head. So don't go past your ears on the side and cover about 3 fourths of the top part. We'll just be making a base now, so don't worry about detailing. Liquid latex close to the eyes can give a burning feeling to the eyes. If it does, keep your eyes closed for about 10 to 50 seconds and once you open your eyes again, it should be better. Also, while doing this, don't throw away dried latex pieces on your hands because after this step we can use them for some detailing work. Once the base is done, dry it even more with a hairdryer. Keep it on the lowest setting and don't let it go too close to your head. When the latex is dry to the touch, remove the mask by ripping the foil in the back and slowly but surely take it off. If you want, you can leave this mask as it is and just paint it so that you have a bandaged mask. In the next step, we're adding more layers and details. Try not to fully cover the eye holes and the breathing airway. Use the dried latex that were on your fingers for gory details. I'm gluing them to my mask with liquid latex. Next, mix a bit of flour in the latex. The more you use, the lumpier the latex becomes. You can use this as well for detail work. Actually, you can do whatever you want with this mask, just have fun creating one. After adding all my details, I coated everything with a layer of liquid latex, but in the end I didn't like it and took some lumps apart. The 
smooth the mask, add layers of liquid latex with a very small amount of flour. This will even make the bandages look smooth after about 2 to 3 layers. After I was happy with my mask, I left it to dry completely for 24 hours. Then I dyed it with a base color and kept building layers and mixing. I mostly used the skin color kind of paint, brown paint, black paint, red paint and blue paint. I used both brushes and sponges for different textures. After painting, I added blood paste to the open parts of the mask and blister gel on the skin parts to give it a glossy flesh-like shine. I dried the mask again for 24 hours because this way the blood paste and the blister gel will have hardened. But actually I thought the mask was still too bright. So I adjusted it a bit with black and brown dye and also a faint light color that I faded with brown on top. Don't forget to dye extra bandages because you will use them to cover up the back of the mask. Only they will not be added to the mask, you will put them on and then put the mask on top so that even the back of your head is covered. If you want you can add black mesh for the eye holes and the breathing opening to make sure people cannot look inside. And if you accidentally closed an opening and you didn't want to, then carefully try to make an opening from inside out. That's it, that's how you make a mask without using any kind of face cast. And that was the video for this week. I hope this mini series of the Silent Hill Nurse cosplay were helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to stay updated about new videos and mini series because it would help me so much to make more content like this. So yeah, become a part of the Zuniverse and I wish you all a really, really nice day. Okay, bye bye. Keep sparkling.